Life inside a nuclear aircraft carrier is a unique and exciting experience, and the bomb farm is no exception. This high-stress, high-stakes environment is where our brave sailors work tirelessly to ensure that our military's most powerful weapon is always ready for action. From loading and unloading bombs to conducting maintenance and repairs, the bomb farm is a hive of activity 24-7. But it's not all work and no play. There are plenty of opportunities for fun and camaraderie as well. Welcome to another episode episode of high technology join the club as we unravel high-end technologies on the planet by subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell so you won't miss any exciting videos in the future in this video follow us as we take you on tour of life inside the crazy bomb farm and see what it's really like to live and work on a nuclear aircraft carrier Life inside the crazy bomb farm on a nuclear U.S. aircraft carrier is unlike any other experience. Located deep within the bowels of the ship, the bomb farm is a vast and complex network of corridors, rooms, and elevators where weapons of all kinds are stored and maintained. It is a place of chaos and frenetic activity but it is also a place of camaraderie and teamwork. The sailors who work in the bomb farm are highly skilled and trained, and they are responsible for ensuring the ship's weapons are always ready for use. It is a demanding and dangerous job but one that is vital to the success of the aircraft carrier and its mission. So the next time you see an aircraft carrier sailing the high seas, take a moment to think about the hardworking sailors of the bomb farm who work tirelessly to keep the ship and its crew safe. Aboard an aircraft carrier, you will find a vast number of spaces and passageways between bulkheads, each serving a specific function. There are shops, clinics, weight rooms, barber shops, recycling centers, machine rooms, nuclear reactors, and more in addition to galleys and offices. Unknown in the shadows, a secret is hidden deep below the deck of a carrier. 24 hours a day, a bomber jet ammunition is carried on aircraft carriers cruising in international waters that are constantly prepared to launch at any moment's notice. The bomb assembly room is one of the many amenities on board an aircraft carrier. Yes, aircraft carriers are furnished with the usual equipment and materials required to construct a 500-pound bomb. Naturally, the bomb assembly room is a secured area that is often limits to the majority of the ship's personnel. The room itself is equipped with sprinklers that fight fires and sufficient lighting. While stationed on an aircraft carrier, some sailors enroll in bomb making classes. When these sailors go to their training sessions in the middle of the night, when their co-workers and other sailors are sound asleep, they are known as ordnance handlers. Americans who handle ordnance typically make $49,886 a year or $24 an hour. On an aircraft carrier, life inside the bomb farm is a fast space, high-stress atmosphere. Some of the biggest and most complex equipment ever made, aircraft carriers are used to deploy and assist military aircraft into war. The aircraft carrier's operations depend heavily on the bomb farm, often referred to as the weapons magazine which houses and maintains all of the bombs, missiles, and other weapons. The bomb farm is a massive and intricate network of hallways, rooms, and elevators that is situated deep inside the aircraft carrier. It is separated into various sections, each with a unique purpose, as well as workshops for maintaining and repairing them. There are chambers for storing and handling various types of weaponry. A group of weapons experts who are in charge of making sure the weapons are always ready for use are also housed at the bomb farm. It's a difficult and dangerous job working on the bomb farm. The weapon specialist needs to be extremely skilled, well-trained, and capable of working fast and precisely under duress. They must be capable of handling a variety of weapons such as bombs, missiles, and small arms, and they must understand how to manage the advanced machinery and equipment used in the bomb farm. Although the bomb farm is a chaotic and fast-paced environment, it also fosters collaboration and friendship. Because they had similar struggles, the staff members are connected and provide support for one another. They are dedicated to doing their part to help the aircraft carrier and its mission because they understand that they are a part of something greater than themselves. The weaponry magazine or bomb farm on an aircraft carrier is referred to as the crazy bomb farm in this context. All of the bombs, missiles, and other weapons are kept in storage and maintained in the bomb farm, a complicated and highly guarded facility on the carrier. It plays a significant role in the carrier's operation and those who work there are proud of how they help the ship and its mission. They are dedicated to contributing to the success of the carrier and its crew despite the difficulties and risks of the job. Depending on the configuration of fins, fuses, and guidance packages, a BLU-111 can become a smart bomb guided by laser or GPS, a dung bomb, or an 
under steam mine. These bombs can be configured to penetrate bunkers or burrow into the ground before exploding, reducing the amount of lethal shrapnel and the intensity of the blast wave and minimizing the risk to non-combatants and property damage. At this particular time, a team is filing orders from the carrier's FA-18 squadrons for a dozen unguided high explosive bombs that will be used for training runs to maintain qualifications. The necessary parts are brought from a network of feeder magazines on the ship and the build sheet for each bomb is compiled. Until assembled, released, and armed, these bombs are stable and the team works with practice precision to prepare them for transport to the flight deck where they will be guarded in the bomb form until they are fitted to the aircraft. The 500-pound bombs have an aerodynamic steel container and 180 pounds of PBX and super explosive. The shell is essentially useless by itself. To carefully attach the components required to turn them into live weapons, the 17 sailors were gathered for this reason. Depending on how the fins, fuses, and guidance packages are arranged, a blue triple one can function as a laser, a dumb bomb, or an underwater mine. Before they were put together, carried out, and turned into weapons, these explosives were regarded as stable. After being connected and secured into place, the rear fuses and fins were transferred by carts to an elevator that takes them to the flight deck. After that, they were ready to be mounted on an airplane. To guarantee that the ingredients were matched to the right torque, precautions were taken. One of the first things to take into account when constructing an aircraft carrier is the location of the armament magazines and their lifts. In the middle of the ship, below the waterline are the four major magazines. Munitions are raised to the preparation areas, the hangar, or the flight deck via a series of lifts. Lifts. The munitions will be carried off trucks in their containers onto the lowered aircraft lifts, taken through the hangar, strapped to the pellets, and then struck down to the magazines via the lifts when the Queen Elizabeth class sets sail on their initial weaponry outfit at the Northern Ammunition Jetty. The mobile high point heavy RAS rigs in the hangar will be used to embark the ammunition provided by the RFA solid store support ship during replenishment at sea before it is carried below. There are a total of 19 strong mechanized doors fitted to the magazines and lifts to lessen the effect of blast, fire, or flood. There are six different size variant types of doors and hatches, the largest being 6 by 3 meters weighing around 6 tons. From 500 pound bombs to laser guided missiles, the ordnance handlers of the bomb farm are responsible for ensuring that the aircraft carrier is always ready to deploy at a moment's notice. It's a demanding and dangerous job but one that is vital to the success of the ship and its mission. So next time you see an aircraft carrier cruising the high seas, take a moment to think about the hardworking sailors of the bomb farm who worked tirelessly to keep the ship and its crew safe. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you could always get to watch more incredible videos like this. This has been High Technology, serving you the best and cutting edge contents on the highest form of technology available on the planet. See you on the next one.